All right. Now, in regards to uh, horror stories, horror, oh, horror, horror, <laughs> horror, 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 or horror, horror. horror. <laughs> Listen, uh, <clears throat> some of the worst ones I've ever encountered were dudes that, that were in the army. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't tell. Probably a couple dozen times, I'm at the unit. And I have like an E5 or E6 walk in after hours with that look on his face, like, oh, everyone's gone. I'm like, I'm like, what? Everything in the house gone. She even took the ice cube trays no, out no. of the freezer. What no. kind of a sick bitch takes the ice cube trays out of the freezer? No, no. She took all the appliances, <laughs> which were part of on post housing. So he had to pay for it. Oh, he got written up on the... Oh, that's just great. Yeah. yeah. Like, literally, they come to the company commander, like, hey, he owes us for a, a washer, dryer, stove, and a refrigerator. On top of paying for a divorce, all that other horse shit, and moving, you know, two or three states away with the kids. Wow. And, you know, in the military, you don't get you don't have enough money to hire attorneys to, like, undo mm-hmm. that nut yeah. roll. And JAG won't help you. No. Jag Which I think it's bullshit, to yes, be perfectly frank. It is. Ugh. What uh, do you have any horror stories, BBG? Before we take a quick piss break, um, you know, I think I think that kind of the, the thing I would say just to kind of summarize it is I've known enough guys who were in like East Asia and then married a woman and then moved back. Oh, Never do the last part of that. No, don't, don't. If you're going to marry someone in another country. Stay there because without I'm speaking in generalizations, but a woman's morality is more subject to cultural influences and has a greater fluidity than a man does. Absolutely. Put her in the U.S. She's not going to if you if she's from the Philippines, just an example, or China or wherever, she'll act like a Filipina or a Thai when she's there. She's in the U.S. a couple of years. You're getting an American woman in a different package. Well, you're, you're Don't gonna move get, her back. You're going to get Eddie murphy Yeah. I want to have Eddie. <laughs> That's just going to happen. Yes. Never move yes. her back. Fuck you, too. <laughs> I remember, oh. I mean, that, that comedy album came out when I was in high school, and I should have listened. Yeah. We, we could call it, we could do a stream on the whole passport bro thing and call it importing misery. <laughs> yeah. Because if you Don't. bring him back here, guess what? Not, it very seldom works out. Yeah. No. The thing is, if well, you're removing somebody from their support system and then taking them to a new one where they have to create it, they're going to create it out of what's available. And let's be yes. honest, what's available here is shit. And yes. what have you always said about every person? They are the sum and substance of the closest six people in their lives. So if you take a Thai woman who had a close-knit family that was very respectful to men in one country and then bring her over here where she has no one and all she has to fill her friend group with is a bunch of modern bitches guess what she's gonna start to act like yeah literally her friends here in america are like why you should be able to go out on ladies night and get a quart of throat yogurt <laughs> it's yeah. not a problem and if he says anything he's insecure oh no he's controlling yeah. he's yeah. toxic yeah having having healthy boundaries as a man is toxic like we have literally destroyed our entire civilization with blame shame and guilt yeah yes. it's yeah. weaponized against us men into silence, and now we can't even get a proper definition of what a woman is yeah. out women, of women. Yeah, and women have become so entitled to men shutting up and letting them talk without being challenged that when they are challenged, they genuinely can't handle it. Correct. I have I have yet to be in, in a situation where you literally try to speak logically. Like, what you're doing right now is detrimental to the situation. Mm-hmm. It just becomes a circle jerk of dysfunctionality emotional blame like you said blame shaming name calling it's like you know what oh yeah enjoy your future uh cat you know cats and box wine <laughs> and now apparently stds <laughs> <laughs> yeah so t- the trifecta oh, boxed wine and cat land just got a <laughs> just got a, got a sh- two scratchy. shots in the butt and some pills and a harsh talking to from the vet <laughs> a whole new term of scratch pad right no i've actually uh, had uh like the whole mansplaining thing 
in I was in New York and there was a captain upstairs, female captain. And uh, I was, you know, just in the area. She was telling somebody to do something, and it was obviously effed up. Yeah. And, and I'm like, well, actually, ma'am, you have to. She goes, you don't have to mansplain to me. I'm like, oh, oh, really? mansplaining. Okay. Well, if Ca- you didn't carry ask a on. question. Yeah. Carry on, ma'am. Oh, bye then. And literally, it wound up with uh, a tire coming off of a five-ton and being stuck in the drill hall. <laughs> So they had to come get it. They, they had to bring people in on orders and do all the crazy stuff. To un- and there was this big gouge in the cement. And the colonel comes in and he goes, hey, Sergeant Pop, do you see what happened? I'm like, I certainly did, sir. <laughs> yep. Yes. What uh, happened? I tried to explain to said captain. And she said I was mansplaining to her. And she did it her way. And this is what we get. He's just like, is this true? No. No, it's not. And you can see behind her, five or six of her NCOs going. going. <laughs> Sogo in the chat just put a button on it. We must mansplain because they're suffering from confusion. <laughs> going in the book. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucking comedy gold right there. Confusion. <laughs> yeah. And confusion, if you refuse to listen to mansplaining, leads to consequences. <laughs> consequences. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Not good. Uh, Sean St. George says, no, never take your ex's suggestion for another woman. That should be a red flag. <laughs> but dude, no, that's no. not a red flag. That is a black flag. That is a BIPOC flag. No, that, that's that's called side pocket deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't listen. Never settle for a side pocket. Woo. No, no, don't no. ever do that. No. Uh, Ballistic Zero, the blonde spot, is where he got teabagged Halo style. <laughs> 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 but here's the thing. I mean, we did that one video where we talked about um, the it was it National Blood Banks with one third. Yeah, yeah, DNA getaway. Yeah, DNA getaway, and th- that stat came before the DNA thing was actually um, is po- is prevalent as it is now yeah and now you've got countries like france that are literally yes. illegal to paternity test gee i wonder where well, i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this, i'm gonna tell you this right now if i was in a country and that, that situation came up and they're like well you can't get a paternity test oh, i'd be like oh i can't <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll see about that because i'm gonna green beret that shit and figure it the fuck out it's called <laughs> hair and ancestry.com damn yeah. right Oh exactly wow! I think you get a fifteen thousand euro fine. Is what they they charge if you if you get a DNA test without the mother's permission. Okay, you shouldn't That's, need the mother's. It's quite a fun. No, I agree, but that just tells you how. And they have a constitutional right to an abortion in the same country. Wow. So. Oh yeah. So yeah, they totally. Yeah, they don't have any reproductive rights. Men have all of them, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, you can literally uh, forge a man's name on a birth certificate. Yep, and he's gonna be hit. Yeah, yes. and, and just, they can forge your name on the birth certificate. If it's in a state where you can't contest it beyond two years, all they have to do is wait two years to tell you, and you're fucked. Yep. Correct. It doesn't matter whether the kid is yours or not. It can be proven through DNA. They will still rake you over the coals for the rear. That, that's sla- no pun that's intended. Straight up slavery. Yeah, that's that's exactly what that is. And yeah. fraud. There's that privilege that I hear so much about that I apparently am just walking around with completely cruel and unusual yeah. punishment. I'd say, mm-hmm. great. It's uh, Sean St. George. I've seen videos of kids who were told their dad hated them, and when dad told the kids the truth, they would break down in sobs and shattered reality. It's hard to keep composure seeing videos like that. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of that been coming out, um, especially from you know our generation. You know, the, you know, the Gen Xers to, you know, the beginning millennials, we were the first ones to really like experience single parent homes and like the Mm -hmm. alienation and the latchkey. And you can see now a lot of that, the baby boomer, like they're, they're getting like kind of alienated themselves now. And then like a lot of, like a lot of people who didn't know their parents for a long time, they're now learning the truth and they're getting that, that time that karma is now backfiring on them. Yep. Yeah. It's coming up to bite you in the ass. And I think a big part of that shattered reality that sadness is finding out in a split second one your father does love you two 
Your mother it's never a, did. Fucking yeah. You wow. were a, you were yeah. a means to Whoa. a fucking end. You were a Dude. paycheck provider. Yep. That's Whoa. all. That was deep, bro. Whoa. I never thought of it because like that. Because if she loved wow. you, she would want your happiness regardless of who was involved yes. as long as it was a positive experience for you. She never loved you. She weaponized you. Big yep. fucking difference. Those people realize that, and it crushes their fucking spirit. Yeah. Yes, wow. sir. That was actually wow. very well put. Wow. I got to write that fucking down. Repeat that. I <laughs> <laughs> we'll watch it later. Well, right. <laughs> watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Support of Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.